And the city of Muscatine is suing its former attorney, Matthew Brick, the city saying he worked against the city's interest. Jonathan Fong in studio for us tonight on how this legal battle is just the latest one in several years. John, the city is suing now because they say Brick admitted to this misconduct in a disciplinary hearing with the Iowa Supreme Court, a hearing that resulted in him being temporarily suspended from practicing law. The city of Muscatine's lawsuit claims former attorney Matthew Brick helped its former city administrator Greg Monsager, who is currently suing the city for wrongful termination. So here's the backstory: Monsager was voted out by city council in 2019, but leading up to his firing, the lawsuit says Brick wasn't just giving advice to Monsager on how to keep his job, he actively kept it a secret from the city that he was helping Monsager out. Now, the city says Brick not only gave confidential information to help Monsager, he also gave advice on his employment contract, rules of termination, and even strategized ways to, quote, put pressure on and berate council members to stall his termination. When the time came to fire Monsager, the lawsuit says the city asked for Brick's help in writing a termination letter. But they claim Brick wrote the letter in a way he believed would make it legally insufficient. And get this, the lawsuit says Brick testified to doing all of this at a hearing in front of the Iowa Supreme Court last year. The disciplinary board said Brick repeatedly violated his duty of loyalty to Muscatine by covertly providing legal assistance against their interests and falsely assuring them he was not giving this assistance to Monsager. That board gave Brick a 30-day suspension from practicing law. And we did try reaching out to lawyers for the different parties in both cases, but are still waiting to hear back. And both lawsuits are seeking damages, but neither parties have publicly stated how much money they're looking to sue for. John? 